Hello again, everyone. Kata Kossman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter. Today I'm going to talk about panel, plywood and OSB, prices which have for the past year not moved in the same trend line as dimension lumber prices. I just posted a video about lumber, so if you missed that, go back one and take a look and see what is happening there specifically with the two by four that are used in the construction framing for housing uh, and now i'm going to talk about oriented strand board osb and plywood and so a few things to know here first of all there are fewer facilities making panel uh, it's a bit more complicated than running logs to saw for dimension lumber. Uh, so there's fewer facilities and there's fewer companies making it. And a lot of these companies are privately owned. They are not publicly traded. And so they're not on the stock market. They don't, act, they don't have to answer to shareholders. And so finding out information about what is happening, you know, you, you don't get quarterly reports the way the uh, publicly traded dimension lumber sawmill companies are do. So the data that we report, whether it's the dimension lumber or the panel, the plywood and OSB, is FOB mill. So mill gate, uh, just the price of the wood. It doesn't include any of the add-ons like commission, freight, duty, or anything like that. Simply the price of the wood at the hub uh, where it is collected, as close to mill gate as possible. So. That uh, is true whether it's the dimension lumber or the panel. And that helps the industry folks to be able to see what is going on with the manufacturing and the prices when we report at Madison's Lumber Reporter the weekly update. So I'm just going to show you the graphs right now so we can see what the changes to those prices are compared to last year and the year before given what we know in terms of the macroeconomic conditions, interest rate, and housing starts. Uh, one thing to note is that, and the reason I expect that the price trend line for the panel is not quite the same as it has been the seasonal up and down for the dimension lumber, is because especially plywood, but also OSB, is used for other purposes. And so one very uh, important instance which causes volatility with those prices is weather. When there are storms, boarding up the windows in advance of a storm and then reconstruction, especially re-roofing after the storms. And so that does at times throw the panel prices into a different price movement from the dimension lumber. And also, especially again plywood, but also OSB has other uses uh, in terms of infrastructure building and concrete forming and other uses like that. And so let's look at the graphs and I'll explain exactly what I'm saying here and then I'll come back. So starting with Canadian softwood plywood out of Toronto, 9.5 millimeters or 3.8 inch for the week ending October 18th, that price is Canadian $660 per thousand square feet, which is up $20 or 3% from the previous week when it was 640, is up $26 or 4% from one month ago when it was 634, and is up $41 or 7% from the same week in 2023 when it was $619 and is down $28 or 4% from two years ago when it was Canadian 688 per thousand square feet. And so looking at this graph, you can see what I've been talking about, the ups and downs, not necessarily following exactly the historical trend of the past couple of years, but at least more uh, what people would be used to prior to the volatility of 2020 and 2021. And so if you look at that blue line for this year, it has indeed surpassed last year and is approaching 2022. And so what does that mean going forward? Will that blue line keep going up? Not completely 
slightly likely, but it's unknown because of circumstances that are beyond normal home building activity. And then here we have oriented strand board OSB out of Ontario 7 16 inch. Keep in mind that the top of the scale for both these graphs is the same. So you can see that the lower lows are much lower on OSB than they were for plywood. However, the timing of the up and down is the same in spring of this year and toward the end of the summer last year. I draw your attention to uh, the previous week, 41, which was the week of the long weekend for Canada and the US, where this year's price hit exactly the level of two years ago. Now, will that blue trend line follow the downturn? Doesn't look like it will, but the increase in the week ending October 18 might be a one-time thing or might endure and that price might rise to match the yellow line, which was last year. So what we have here is for the week ending October 18th, this item was Canadian $460 per thousand square feet, which is up $40 or 10% from the previous week when it was 420 up $45 or 11% from one month ago when it was 415 down $80 or 15% from the same week in 2023 when it was 540 and up $45 or 11% from 2022 when it was $415 Canadian per thousand square feet. And so once again, this is a utility in my dashboard that customers can use the custom comparison screen. And what I did here was I pulled up those two items to compare the trend changes against each other. As generally speaking, we would think that plywood and OSB, these panel prices would go up and down in tandem. And it does seem that way here, although the ratios of increase or decrease are not the same. And so you have, you can see this week, the price for the OSB 460 and the price for the plywood 660, both up and over the previous week, and then similarly up over the previous month. And so this is something that is very useful for customers, depending on what items they are most interested in. They can really drill down into details, either individually or to compare specific items items against each other. Great. Okay. I hope that helps as an explanation. We are heading into what is normally a lower time for activity in building and a lower time for lumber sales. And so usually softer prices, but we don't know what's going to happen now because we already had a change in the direction of the lumber prices due to Hurricane Helene. And again, that's in the video I just did. If you haven't seen it, do go back by one and have a look at that. So if you like what you see here, click like. So this video will get recommended to other viewers. Subscribe here on YouTube so you'll be notified when we make another video. And if you do wanna see more, because we track 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices across North America, in the caption here is a link you can fill out a form to get a sample and we will send you the list of what those items are and what is the price for that week. And we will also send you the commentary explaining why those prices changed. And this is all what my customers access through the dashboard that they have a login to every week. We update the prices, the data on Thursday evenings. And so Friday morning, wherever, whichever time zone they're in, they can have a look at that. And keep in mind, that we are holding a promotion right now. And so uh, in January, the subscription prices are going to go up. I have not raised my rates since 2018. So if you've been thinking about it and haven't quite made the decision yet, do not wait, don't miss out, subscribe now and take advantage of those savings. Lock in your rate now. By signing up today, you'll save 15% on your subscription for a whole year. Don't miss out.